It says, before you can gain the respect of a student, you must answer three burning questions in their mind. This is so critical. Three questions. Anytime a student is in your class, I don't care if it's high school, middle school, elementary school, college, it doesn't matter. You did it to me yesterday when you sat in that room and you didn't even know you did it. Three questions you have to address immediately in the mind of a student. Okay, now number three doesn't apply to, to you guys as my peers, but anybody who's looking to you for guidance, you need to be able to answer all three of these questions. Here's the first question, and I want anybody to, if you think, disagree, I would love you to challenge me on this. Three questions that a kid is asking. Number one, why should I listen to you? <laughs> Who are you? Why gotta listen to you? Oh, you don't think they asked that question? Guess what, you asked that question subconsciously when I was in that room. I don't know that guy, he's black, and I haven't seen many black people around here. <laughs> Why should we listen to him? Are you following me? It's not a, it's not a form of disrespect. It's just like a knee-jerk reaction because we don't want our time wasted. So even you thinking, kids, they don't have time to wait. Well, guess what, they think their time is important. They're like, Why should I listen to you? The first question, why should I listen to you? In other words, who are you? They're questioning your credibility. You heard me, Matt? They're questioning your credibility. The first thing they're thinking, my son doesn't, he's a respectful child, but yet he questions somebody's credibility. Who are they? Number two, and tell me if I'm wrong, second question they're asking subconsciously, why do I need to learn this? You don't think they ask that question? Math teachers? Why do I need to learn this? I'm never going to use this stuff. They want to know, why do I need to learn this? You did that yesterday. What are you saying? Why, why is this important to me? That's what you're asking. What, what, that, that, that doesn't apply to me. And I didn't connect with all of you because maybe some of the stuff I was talking about did not connect with you. But I was hoping to get as many as I possibly could have said, that's why I should learn this. Because that's why I got into teaching. That's the kind of impact I want to make. That's the difference I want to have in a child's life. And here's the third one. I say, you didn't ask this because you're my peers. But if I was leading you, the third, and you know this is true, tell me if I'm wrong, a child is asking this subconsciously, do you mean what you say? In other words, do I really have to listen to you? Are you following me? That's questioning your authority. They want to know, okay, who are you? Why is this stuff important? And do you really mean what you, man, I know a lot of those, they talk about a lot of stuff. Do, are you really going to do what you say? Do you really mean what you say? Do you realize I just uncovered all the problems you're probably facing in your school right now because one of those three things they've been questioning and you haven't answered adequately. And anytime I, I don't connect with a kid, I got to go back to that list. Do they know who I am? <laughs> do, do they see why this thing is important? Oh, they don't believe I mean what I say.